All right, so today we're going to be stepping through lead generation. And how we're going to do that is we're going to first start with looking through your files, and finding the correct place that you want to place these leads. So for instance, for our company, we have a outreach file. And with that, we have solar. And we can just add a new list here as an example. going to shoot us over to another tab and what we will do now is we're going to name that we're going to name that solar in for instance and then what I like to do is name this top one company name we're going to bold that maybe make that a bit bigger we're going to go over here and we're going to write company or not even company, just phone. And bold that up, make that even, all nice and pretty. And then what we're gonna start off with doing is we usually do these by state. So what you're gonna wanna do is first start with just the um, name of the city that you're wanting to do. So if we're doing full cam, we're gonna bold it, we'll make it quite a bit bigger than the last one. But how are we actually going to do this? So the majority of the time, we're going to be doing this through Google Maps. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to come over to Google Maps. And, okay, there we go. So it's going to give us the city. So the city is Spokane. And so from there, we're just going to search solar. And a lot of times this can bring up a bunch of results around the US. So you do want to try and first centralize the city that you're looking and once you press search it'll pop up a decent amount of solar and if you zoom out you can see that it's only in that area which is actually what you're trying to do which is great so what you can then do zoom back in and what i tend to do is actually split this screen up so the half is here and half is there um so i'm gonna move me over there so what you'll do is you'll go and you'll find this first one say eco depot and anything with reviews is usually what we're looking out for because if it's unreviewed we can offer them actually to do their google reviews um, but if they don't have good if they do have google reviews then they're usually a pretty established company so we'll just copy the name over put the company name scroll down right here is the phone number with the company phone number and it is time consuming um because there are a lot of companies but once you get a few of these in here for instance we'll get this one as well and then we will copy that phone number again um you'll keep scrolling down it'll keep loading and that's when you'll get into some that don't have reviews you can look some of these are open 24 hours it's usually a corporation some of these like this, this looks like a actual business. If you click into it, they have, um, they have a place to nail salon. It's probably not the correct picture, but it's a solar energy supply and you can take a look. So if they don't have reviews, this could be a company that we actually add. So for instance, we could add this into here, add their phone number and then put over here in the notes section that we want to want to offer as Google uh, SaaS automated Google ads. So, or not Google ads, oops, that's my mistake. Google reviews. So that we know for in the future when, when the SaaS is established for us that we can actually do this. But yeah, you're just gonna wanna keep scrolling. The list goes usually for a lot more than shows up initially on the map. That's why I never click on the map. The more you scroll, You'll get some duplicate companies that's going to happen. Like you see this one here again, but the more you scroll, the more options you have, it'll sometimes shoot back up. You just have to make sure you're going in the same order that you were, but to based on the city, based on the size of the city, uh, you can get usually around 100 to 200 leads per city. Um, and what you can do with that is then put it in this list. And once you're done with that, let's say, let's see the next big city. So the next big city would be Seattle, for instance, 
of Seattle. It will bring up the city of Seattle. And again, you search solar. And it'll bring up everything that's in Seattle, everything that's in Bellevue, everything that we need in this area. And if you want to specifically go to Bellevue, you can zoom in a little bit more, and press search again, and it should actually pop up a few more and focus it. And if you want to get really focused, you can, of course, type in the actual city. And then what it will do is completely, well, not completely, but it will limit the ones you get from Seattle and boost the ones that you get in that part of the city. So with all of that, of course, again, you'd write down the city name. You're going to write Seattle. You're going to bold it. And you're going to make it big. Organization. And you don't have to do this. And it's with every agency, it will depend on what you do. But for ours, this is what we do um, for the organization of it. And once you do that, you continue with your list. You keep going through Google Maps. And yeah, that's the best way that we have found to do lead generation for our agency. Of course, we've gone through lead builders, list builders, lead generation tools, a big tool that I used to use, something called D7 Lead Finder, which you can see here. Um, and nothing is affiliated with this, of course, but it is a great lead tool if you want to just get mass amounts of leads. Uh, the accuracy was less than others. Um, but in terms of all that, it was decently sized. We got a few clients out of this, but it was nothing 